and I saw how easy and simple this was, I, I says, God, where do we lose it? How? Why are we doing this? And it was so interesting. He took me right back to Genesis in the beginning. And if you look at the in the, in the beginning when Adam and Eve were in the garden, they had this beautiful, relaxing day in the garden. And every afternoon and evening, God would come down and walk with them through the garden. And I'm sure as he walked through the garden, he would just share with them things that they saw in the garden that day about himself. Did you notice this? This is my character. This is all about me kind of thing. And I'm sure they just had this incredible time, totally relaxed, no stress every day. But when man sinned, the scripture said things are going to change. And the wording is, by the sweat of your brow, you're going to raise food. Thistles and thorns and weeds are going to compete with you. And the next verse says, and man began to till the soil. You see, man never cultivated in the garden. He tended the garden, but he never disturbed the ground. And when man got disconnected from God, he began to till the soil. The whole issue is so very simple. It's all about cover. Nowhere in nature where man has not been do you ever see exposed dirt. That only happens when man comes and takes the cover. Everywhere in nature where man has not been is either covered with needles and leaves or grasses, but the ground is covered. And the reason is because the ground is a living organism. And as all living organisms, such as ourselves, we have skin to protect us, the animals have fur, fish have scales, birds have feathers, and the soil is a living organism. And God has designed it and made it so it's always covered with something. And when you take the cover off, it becomes vulnerable and it gets lost. And this is the thing that amazes me about us as intelligent human beings, how we don't see it because we've been experiencing it for thousands of years in a negative way. We're all around us, all through creation. Everything's just growing beautifully with no work. And we, let our, you know, we work hard to fail. I have two properties that I'm doing this on. One, this one here, the ground is clay and rock. It would be impossible to farm. It would be considered from the agricultural point of view as marginal soil. The other place I have is 80% rock, totally gravel pit. You couldn't possibly till it. You couldn't possibly cultivate it. And in both of those places, I'm experiencing the most incredible, beautiful gardens. I love that scripture where it says, as we behold the Lord, we're being changed from glory to glory. And I find that anything that comes in contact with God gets changed, including clay and rock and rock. It's just so awesome to take people and, and, and take them back and show them my incredible ground. You can't even break with a pick and walk on this stuff. It's totally buoyant. Everything's just growing great, you know. And I didn't do anything. I just put the cover down and God does it all. Whatever organic, natural thing you have at your disposal, it will work. And I've used everything from straw, grass clippings, leaves, animal manures, rocks. But having used them all, I come back to wood chips and I see where it's been for a while and what it's done. It is my favorite. It just is the nicest, nicest thing to use. First of all, when I speak of wood chips, I want to delineate between wood chips and other things that people put in the same category, such as bark or, or shavings or sawdust. Wood chips, when I say wood chips, I'm referring to, to branches that have been chipped. Branches of trees, which is about 90% needles and leaves that have gone through a chipper or a tub grinder. You want to go to get it from the source, you know, either a good a tree service or someplace who has a good amount of it. And because um, the bag is just too small and too expensive. If you live in an area where you have local tree services, people that are trimming trees or taking them down, I would just get in the phone book and look for those kind of people and, and um, that would be a great source. In most cases, to them, it's something they've got to get rid of, and so they're looking for places to get rid of it, so it shouldn't be a problem.